Ramshift has always been among the best builds in God of War, and I'm happy to report that I came up with the perfect and most oppressive build for the occasion. I think this version of Ramshift could potentially even surpass the ones we had in God of War 2018. As always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like and if you loved it, consider subscribing to the channel. Rumor has it that if this video gets 500 likes, you'll be able to skip Ironwoods in the next update, so you know what to do. Now listen, we've been begging Santa Monica to bring back the cloak after Dear Freya ripped it off out of jealousy, and they thankfully did. Not only does it add plus 100 drip points to Kratos, but it also allows you to throw a volley of bifro shards every time you perform a last second dodge. It is automatic, so you won't have to do anything other than dodge. I was even able to defeat Gna without ever hitting her thanks to this amazing chest armor. But to take it to the next level, we will trigger a ramp shift with every last second dodge using the gauntlets of the Radiance. One second is more than enough because we will only use one piece of the Radiant set and instead use the wall belt of Zeus to increase both our melee and ring damage by 20%. But in case you are not in the end game yet, you could always use the waste guard of the Black Bear which also comes with the cloak. And because we will trigger a ram shift every so often, using the Alfheim enchantment set is a must. There is just one downside though. The set bonus increases the damage of your next attack post last second dodge, and your shards count as an attack. I mean, it's not really a bad thing since your shards will always be empowered, but just know that you won't be able to perform a more damaging post dodge skill such as Scorch Earth through Flame Whiplash, for example. Now let's talk shields. Before the update, I would use a Dauntless Shield 90% of the time, since it would reduce my cooldown and also the stun inflicted upon enemies while performing shield strike was decent. But with the Shutter Star buff, the recent one, I think Dante is due for retirement. Not only does the Shutter Star shield allow you to cancel some skills, but you can also absorb most Red Rings attacks and often fire back some projectiles to enemies. That alone makes every build more oppressive since you don't have to parry as much or dodge out of the way. And because this shield gives us uh, plenty of runic, I decided to build upon that and benefit from the Musselheim enchantment set. Our melee damage will now be increased every time we activate permafrost, emulation or maelstrom based on our runic. And to help you get those buffs even faster, we will use Memento of the Ailing which increases the emulation gain from hitting status affected enemies. And in my, in my experience, those enemies will often, almost always, be afflicted. And also, this rep shift will often trigger the emblem of the night realms with further increase the damage we deal while shifting. When it comes to your grips and pommels, you first need to identify the weapon you use, the ball, the one you have a preference for. In my case, I use the blades more than any other weapon, which is why I added the pommels of the nine rounds to trigger a ram shift every time I activate immolation. Those pommels will also increase your runic stat, so you should use the ram shift pommels on your weapon of choice and choose the grips boosting your strength for the other two. Next, I decided to use a round of absorption to get immolation even faster by blocking or pairing. And since New Game Plus brought us some new items of enchantment, we can now make two builds at the same time. Though on the surface this is a ramshift build, it is also an almost instant immolation build. And whenever you trigger a ramshift by dodging, you do so while the enemy is attacking. By using Sorter's Engraving, you ensure that you deal bonus damage to that enemy every time you attack during the attacks. The build is, at the moment, very oppressive, and even this new version of Gna has no answer for it. I mean, except those occasional cheap tricks he would pull out of her ass. This is the build, and you can go with whatever Spartan Rage or Relic you want. I tend to gravitate towards Wrath, since it gives me plenty of immolation gauge on top of staggering enemies. And for the Relic, I prefer the Talisman of May, simply because it maximizes my damage. If Ramshift was considered one of the best builds before, it certainly got closer to the top spot in New Game Plus. I will now let you appreciate what it can do, and thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to drop a like, and I hope 
this build works for you the same way it worked for me. Peace. Good. And for what you've done. Oh!